Hello everyone, my name is Carly Hamilton and I'm here with you to do a scrapbook process video. This one is for my month of me project, which is a month long project that I am doing um, where I'm creating a little mini album that is like a little snapshot of my life right now. Uh, and I have a whole heap of prompts um, that I'm following along with um, to make it easier to put together a whole album um, without trying to come up with exciting things that happen each day because often um, my days feel same old, same old. So I want to really capture different aspects of my life um, and how I am right now. So for this album, um, if you haven't seen any of my month of me um, videos or posts on my blog before it is all about um, the, the, what I'm trying to say is that it is uh, in a pocketed style album so this is my uh, actual third layout doing a pocketed style um, layout and this layout itself took 52 minutes um, and if you'll see at the end that it is not a very um, detailed or complicated layout I think one of the things that took up the most time is actually selecting which paper that I'm going to use for this layout. So I've got, um, that's what I'm doing now, is I'm searching through all my cards to try and find what paper to use. And I've actually sped this up um, much, much quicker than what I usually speed it up. Um, this section here, um, just to, because I really wanted to record um, what my process was which is just basically searching through all my papers and trying to come up with something that goes together. I think one of the things that made it really hard is that I don't have a very big collection of um, pocketed like cards. Uh, I have two mini kits which is the Polka Dot Party by D. Lizzie and the Flea Market by Maggie Holmes. Then I've got some others that are from cut apart sheets and also some ones that I've cut up myself from scraps. But I think um, because I didn't have very many, I found it really limiting to try and find, like to put something together. Um, so what I've done now um, after this video has been shot, I've actually gone through all my scraps and cut out um, 3x4 and 4x6 cards. So I now have a much bigger collection um, and hopefully that will make it easier for me to scrap. So as you can see, I've um, ended up picking out a red and cream color scheme. Uh, and I think pretty much the two big ones are from Cut Apart Sheets, I think. Uh, and the, uh, the other two are probably from my scraps. I remember that top um, right hand side one the little one that's definitely from my scraps because that's from a die cuts with a view um, Asia paper stack now I've got the basic layout of this layout I, I don't know if I said it, this, the theme the prompt for this one is clothes uh, so I've collected a couple of um, like little tags from my clothes and I've got a selfie there um, and I plan to journal um, about my um, the kinds of clothes that I'm buying right now, which is none, but I mean the types of clothes that I'm wearing. Uh, I, I've pulled out my stamps because I am trying to use my stamps more. I, I have a small collection, but I barely use any of my stamps that are in my collection. Um, so I'm trying to make a conscious effort to actually use them. And I guess... Um, if I do use them a lot, then I can justify buying more. So that's that's always a good thing. Um, I have pulled out a stamp set. Those um, those court, those brackets. That's the word I'm thinking of. They're from something that I got for free a long, long time ago. I used to work in a scrapbooking store, and um, we used to get uh, like samples and things like that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that that one was, was given to me from that time that I worked there. I can't remember who makes it. The other one is um, a Dear Lizzie um, stamp set that I got because I love chevron patterns and also love the little um, clouds. 
um, I've got quite a few cloud stamp sets so yeah that's that one now I'm using um, my glue dots to glue down these um, these tags just so that they do stick well so I've pulled out for my lettering um, this is a really old basic grey sticker sheet and I think it's from their blush collection which is quite a few years old and I'm running out of letters they've got like a giant well a bigger letter um, alphabet and then a smaller set of alphas I think I've had to use the Y maybe from the smaller set um, but I made it look like it's a bigger one um, but then the only E I've got left on this one is a smaller one so it ends up looking really funny but um, that's all right I can just pretend my style is funky <laughs> I haven't actually journaled on these cards yet um, even though I actually created this layout um, early April uh, early to mid April uh, so I'm trying to catch up in some of my older videos that I had recorded but I haven't actually turned into um, videos yet down the side here I'm just writing clothes and this is a doodle bug sticker sheet huge fan of the doodle bug um, like style font I guess you could say and if you've been watching some of my videos you know that I'm a little bit obsessed with those tile letters at the moment for the card with the um, with the tags on it I've pulled out a really old K and Company um, sticker sheet and I'm actually quite happy with how much I've used up of these sticker sheets I bought them for one layout that I made years and years and years ago and I didn't have enough letters in the first like in the one sticker pack so I ended up buying two sticker packs of it and um, and then with that one layout done and that one word uh, I, I hardly ever use them again but I'm trying to work my way through them now because uh, they are sort of pretty letters um, so I, yeah I have two sheets of it so I think I'm just writing brands here and I've had to move them across to get them to fit because I was a bit too liberal with my spacing there and once I've got them all down I decide um, they've got like a little asterisk in this um, sticker sheet and because I had two sheets I think I had maybe three of them left uh, so I decide to cut out um, the asterisk and scatter them around the page to try and um, sort of pull all the pages all the squares all the, all the cards together so you can see I cut out um, one of the asterisks and I put it on um, that blank page there I really like the cherry blossoms um, kind of look uh, I've lived in Japan so I'm big in on that kind of thing so I really don't want to cover up that page too much I just want to embellish it simply now I've gotten out my um, lace and that's another product that I've had sitting in my stash for years and years and years and I am trying to um, start using it up because what's the use of having uh, a product if you don't use it so I'm putting lace on this page not that I actually wear any lace at all um, but it looks good <laughs> it looks pretty on my page so I've put it down the side there to try and balance it out because I've got brands down one side and then I had this blank space on the other um, so I, I decided to use, use the lace and to embellish this card here I just put a strip of lace across the center and then I um, stick down that asterisk uh, in the middle um, and I think that's pretty much all that I do that page I decide uh, yeah at this point to get out that sticker sheet and then I just use um, the rest of those asterisk uh, around the page around the different cards just to tie them all together now I'm getting towards the end of the page now I feel like there was something that um, was a bit missing so I ended up going around um, the edge of these cards and just um, outlining them and then I find that um, helped bring them all together um, make them look a little bit more cohesive and also define them 
it had added something to the page that I felt like was missing. So you can see I've just made a like another little um, cluster down the bottom there. It's just um, a piece of washi tape and also some lace. And I'm going to put that um, asterisk on there as well. Eventually. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sticking down those asterisks now. And as I said, that's pretty much... Um, how it's going to be I so, saw okay so I, I stick them into the album um, now like this later on I go back and I um, do some outlining of it, but I obviously didn't catch that on the video uh, and I kept this bit in as well because I wanted to show you um, what a pain in the ass it is to slide these things in I have made my pages super dimensional which I like I find that fun but it has made my album really fat. I'm only halfway through um, act doing the actual pages for this. I've got my other photos on their way. I get them printed and sent to me. So they should arrive in the next day or two. Um, so when I finish this album, it's going to be really fat. So here's a close up and you can see the outlining. I just did a rough outline around the edge. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this layout um, come together. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. I love hearing what everyone has to say. So thank you so much for taking the time to leave a comment. Um, I will be creating a post for this. Um, so go check out createmess.com and you can see some more close-ups. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.